In the previous video, we derived the time dilation formula just by saying that the speed of light is constant. In this video, by doing the same, we will derive the second most important consequence of relativity, that is length contraction. Now we can derive length contraction in a very easy way by using Lorentz transformation. But Lorentz transformation do not give us an intuitive insight on why this length contraction occurs. Like time dilated to keep the speed of light constant, but why does this length contract? And I also asked on some stack exchange forums about explaining length contraction in a better way and found one with which you can understand why this length contraction occurs and will derive this length contraction formula. But in this one, by keeping the speed of light constant, we need another thing. That is the time dilation formula. This is very important to understand length contraction. So in this video, we will use this time dilation formula and the speed of light is constant to derive the length contraction. Now the speed of light is constant is used to derive this time dilation formula and this time dilation formula will be used to derive the length contraction formula and you will understand why this length contracts. So this is the thought experiment that I found which is really helpful in understanding why this length contraction occurs. So understand this diagram very carefully. So here is an observer O which is at rest with respect to this road. So whatever length this observer measures is called the proper length and I have denoted it by L. So this is the proper length. Okay. So this is the proper length. Now here is an observer who is moving with some speed in this direction. Let us say that speed is V. And now whatever length he measures of this road is known as the improper length because this road is moving with respect to this observer. So let us say it is L dash. Now there is a clock attached to this one, not this one this one. So whatever time he measures for this clock is the proper time and whatever time he measures for this clock is the improper time. So by incorporating this time dilation formula, we will derive this length contraction formula. So let's understand it. So now we will measure the length of this rod with respect to this observer by moving this clock from here to here and like reading the time it took to go from here to here with the velocity v. So we know that the speed is equal to distance upon time. So distance is equal to speed into time. So we will measure the length from here. So the length of this road with respect to this observer that is the proper length of this road is equal to velocity of this clock v times delta t dash because the time he measures for this clock is improper time. Now for this observer, the L dash is equal to because this is the improper length V times because the frames are relative. So they both will move with the same speed. This is the law of relativity. So now V times delta T. Okay, so the time taken by this clock for him, this is the proper time. Now simply we will divide these two equations that is L dash divided by L is equal to V delta T divided by V delta T dash. Okay. So V cancels in here and now L dash divided by L is equal to delta T and we know that delta T dash the time dilation formula is equal to gamma times delta T put that in here gamma delta T this cancels that and we get L dash is equal to 1 upon gamma times L. Now gamma is equal to 1 upon square root of 1 minus V square upon C square. So 1 upon gamma is equal to 1 minus V square upon C square under the root. Okay, so this simply is the length contraction formula. So this is how we derive the length contraction formula from time dilation. Now this factor is greater than 1 but the reciprocal of this is less than 1. That means the improper length L dash is smaller than the proper length. 
that means the length of this rod is contracted for this observer now let's understand this intuitively for that i have cleaned this up now listen to this very carefully the time this observer o dash measures for this clock is the proper time and the time this observer o measures for this clock is the improper time and we know that the improper time delta t dash is equal to gamma times delta t which is the proper time that means that the improper time is greater than the proper time that means that the proper time delta t is less than the improper time delta t dash that simply means that the time taken for this same clock to go from here to here measured by this observer o dash is less than the time taken by this same clock to go from here to here measured by this observer that means that the clock takes less time to go from here to here for this observer than this observer that means this length l not seems contracted for this moving observer so this proper length l not is greater than that improper length by a factor of 1 upon gamma so this is how we understand length contraction in an intuitive way so we have completed three videos first one makes you understand the reason for relativity second one helps you to derive time dilation just by saying that the speed of light is constant and the third one helps you to derive the length contraction by using time dilation so do share these videos with your friends to help them understand relativity the better way and thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything